This is a test of the pressure relief valve that I glued onto a Smack Booster style container. Now this has been running for about 15 minutes. I do not know what's going to happen, but I'm going to cause a backsplash into the container and see if the pressure relief valve works. Now the worst that can happen is the container will rupture. Now, hopefully I won't get hit by anything flying, but we're going to find that out. Well, that caused the valve to pop that time. It's going to take a minute for it to recharge. Well, it looks like it works, and it looks like it doesn't actually cause a lot of gas to come out of the, through the pressure relief valve. That's a good sign. So, here's one more shot. So it's just barely causing a pressure relief valve to pop. Now there's about an inch and a half air gap inside the container. So that tells me that it's not generating a lot of pressure. Now what I want folks to see is what happens when a backflash occurs. Now this is only a quarter inch tubing, but you can actually see the tra flame tra traveling through the tube. Pretty cool. <laughs> so it looks to me like the amount of pressure that we're actually generating in a backflash can easily be handled by a pressure relief valve set at 20 to 25 pounds on release. And it, it looks like it's not generating a lot of pressure inside the container. Otherwise, I'd be hearing a lot more gas coming out of the, the pressure relief valve. Now, let's do this one more time, just for posterity. Now, if I, if I had the time and the equipment, because I can see the flame front moving inside this tube, I should be able to, to, to get a good estimate for how fast the flame front moves. Uh, this test is with my earmuffs off so I can get an idea of how much noise the pressure relief valve is actually making. It's going to have to run for another minute. Um, I'd say the noise is no louder than a, a pellet gun, a CO2 pellet gun. Yes, no louder than a CO2 pellet gun. So I think the pressures that we're, that I'm witnessing here are not high enough to worry about the container exploding. So this is the pressure relief valve that I was just testing right here. They're about five dollars. And I put the whole thing together. Just It took a uh, nine sixteenths hole in the top of the cap and then uh, JB weld to hold it in place. And I really don't think that this type of canister, which is a smack style canister with a 220 psi uh, schedule 40 pipe in it. 
or that is the pipe. I really don't think that we're exceeding the design specs on this canister. As long as you use Schedule 40 220 PSI pipe.